Ariel Helwani, post-fight at UFC 188 alongside Kelvin Gaslam, who defeated Nate Marquardt tonight. Kelvin, congratulations on the win. Thanks. You told me yesterday that you were going to talk to Dana White and say, move me back down to yeah. 170. But he was pretty emphatic at this press conference saying yeah. he doesn't want you to do it. What's your reaction to that? Well, he just doesn't think I can do it. So, you know, actions speak louder than words. So I got till November to, to try and convince him and um and prove to him you know i'm, I'm gonna get you know i've already hired a nutritionist i've already made the necessary changes um in order for me to prove that so i have till november to to convince him are you going to try to convince him are you going to actually try to sit down and convince him you don't want to stay at 185 right right i'm going to try and convince him uh get my weight down even lower and um you know show up take pictures of yeah. the scale every day i guess you know and, and send it to him and just kind of prove it to him you know uh, that's what i have to do that's what he said uh he doesn't believe i can do it so i gotta prove him wrong are you surprised at how emphatic he was um you know dana's dana he says what yeah. what he, he what he feels and, and that's fine you know he's entitled to that um but um you know i don't i don't agree with everything he said but I, you know like i said i just i just gotta prove it to him did you have trouble making 185? No, not at all. He says he uh, he wants you to get a nutritionist, but don't you have a nutritionist team working with you? I, I have recently hired a team of nutritionists, yes. Now I do. So maybe he doesn't know that? Yeah, he does not know that. Okay. So I'm, I've already tried to make the, like I said, I've made the necessary changes already, hired a nutritionist. Um, he's he's uh, monitoring everything I eat. So, you know, it's just with time, I'm going to have to prove it to, to Dana. Well, you look great out there, and on Wednesday you said you're a mediocre middleweight. You could be a championship welterweight. Do you still feel that way after breaking a veteran like Nate Mockhart? Well, a lot of people got me wrong. I mean, I feel I can compete with the best guys in the world at middleweight or welterweight, you know. But, I mean, I'm at a high disadvantage, reach disadvantage at middleweight. I mean, these guys are, are well above six, six feet. So, I mean, the, the, the odds of me winning are not good. You'll go on the record right now and say your next fight will be at 170. I, well, yeah. I'm going to prove to Dana, yeah, Okay, for sure. Congratulations on the win. Good luck doing that. Thank you.